I'm Mike with List 25, and here are the 25 most puzzling mysteries of the universe. Twenty-five. How old is the universe? At the dawn of the 21st century, and despite all our technology and scientific progress, the universe's age remains far from certain. Current estimates place the age of the universe at 13.799 plus or minus 0.021 billion years. 24. How did galaxies form? There's a lot of debate as to how galaxies formed, but at the end of the day, no one knows for sure. After the Big Bang, scientists are not sure if small particles slowly teamed up and gradually formed stars, star clusters, and eventually galaxies, or if the universe first organized as clumps of matter that later subdivided into galaxies. 23. What are the Fermi Bubbles? In 2010, a team of scientists working at the Harvard-Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics discovered a pair of Fermi Bubbles extending tens of thousands of light years above and below the Milky Way's disk. These structures are enormous balloons of energetic gamma rays emanating from the center of our galaxy, but there are still a lot of things we don't know about them. 22. Have we really discovered a rectangular galaxy? It's being called the Emerald Cut Galaxy, and it was recently discovered by an international team of astronomers with the Swinburne University of Technology in Australia. The Gem Cut Galaxy was detected in a wide-field image taken with the Japanese Subaru Telescope by astrophysicist Dr. Lee Spittler. It's believed that the unusual shape is the result of a collision between two galaxies. 21. The Universe Before the Big Bang What, if anything, existed before the Big Bang? We've been able to single out the genesis of our known existence to the Big Bang, but beyond that, we're still clueless. 20. Did life originate on Earth? We know that Earth was devoid of life when our solar system was first formed. Life forms then appeared on our planet, eventually evolving into the species we know today. However, whether the first life forms originated on Earth or elsewhere is a huge mystery that has been the subject of serious scientific debate. Scientists have pointed out that it's possible for life to have arisen spontaneously when conditions on Earth were different. On the other hand, some scientists believe that complex organic molecules could have originated in space and been brought to Earth via comets or meteoroids. 19. What is dark matter? The truth is, we really don't know exactly what dark matter is. However, scientists have been able to pin down some of its characteristics. For example, we know that it is dark, meaning that it does not take the form of stars or planets that are seen. Second, it is not in the form of dark clouds of normal matter. Third, dark matter is not antimatter. And finally, dark matter is not a galaxy-sized black hole. 18. How big is the universe? Many great debates and even more hypotheses have taken center stage in the search for an answer to this antiquated question, but none has managed to answer it sufficiently. All we know is that the universe is big. Though the observable universe is about 13.8 billion light years, give or take 21 million light years, the distance to the edge of the observable universe is about 46 billion light years away. This is because the universe is constantly expanding and getting bigger. 17. How common are black holes? The concept of black holes takes us back to the 1780s, when Jean-Michel and Pierre-Simon Laplace envisioned dark stars whose gravity was so strong that not even light could escape. However, we still don't know much about them. In 2014, for example, scientists discovered a galaxy with three supermassive black holes at its core, which could mean that clusters of black holes might be far more common than we originally thought. 16. And what happens when black holes collide? Theories suggest that when two black holes come close enough to where they can't escape each other's gravity, they will merge and become a big black hole. Such an event would be extremely violent, and truth be told, even when simulating this event on powerful computers, we still can't fully understand it. A black hole merger would produce tremendous energy and send massive ripples through the space-time fabric of the universe. However, nobody has witnessed black hole collisions as of yet. 15. What created Saturn's rings? The most accepted theory at this time is that Saturn's rings probably formed when objects like comets, asteroids, or even moons broke up in orbit around the planet due to its strong gravity. 
the pieces of these objects kept colliding with each other and broke into even smaller pieces. 14. Where did all the lithium go? According to standard cosmology theory, lithium, together with hydrogen and helium, is one of three elements to have been synthesized in the Big Bang. Therefore, we should see a uniform abundance of lithium throughout the universe. However, we don't. By experimental observation, the older stars seem to have less lithium than they should, and some younger stars have far more. Why? We don't really know. 13. How did the moon form? Where did our quiet, beautiful satellite that makes our nights more friendly and romantic come from? Scientists and philosophers have been wondering about this for centuries. The first modern idea about the formation of the moon was the fission theory by George Darwin, son of Charles. However, the most widely accepted theory is that the moon was formed when a large object, about the size of Mars, slammed into Earth billions of years ago. The collision then turned the newly formed Earth into a molten ball of rock and ejected material into orbit. 12. Why did Mars dry out? We already know from our landers and orbiters that water once flowed in streams and great floods across the now barren landscape of Mars. What we don't know and are trying to understand is why the red planet became so dry and inhospitable. Theories range from an asteroid impact blowing most of the atmosphere into space in a catastrophic event or solar wind erosion. 11. What's the purpose of gamma ray bursts? One of the greatest mysteries of observational astronomy during the past three decades has been the nature of gamma ray bursts. We can recognize and observe them, but we still have no idea why they randomly appear and why they happen. 10. What is dark energy? According to the most accepted theory at this point, dark energy is supposed to act in opposition to gravity and occupy the entire universe, accounting for most of the energy in it, roughly 68%, and causing its expansion to accelerate. Other than this, dark energy is a complete mystery. 9. Did the Big Bang really happen? Our universe, according to Einstein's theories, is around 13.8 billion years old and formed from an infinitely small point during the Big Bang. While most scientists today seem to accept this model, the scientific community still can't explain what happened inside this tiny point, called a singularity, or what came before it. In reality, we can only speculate how the Big Bang happened. 8. Are we alone? This is another great mystery that many thinkers and scientists have tried to solve throughout the history of human civilization, but it has yet to be answered. Can we recognize all kinds of life? What if some different type of life is staring at us, but we can't understand it? 7. Where did life come from? It's without a doubt one of the oldest questions and biggest mysteries in human history. Though there are theories out there that seek to explain the dawn of life, explanations that involve increasingly complex chemical reaction with chemical reactions becoming self-sufficient, the truth is scientists don't have a clear definitive explanation for life. 6. Do we live in a parallel universe? For as long as humans have been able to think and reason, a question has loomed in the back of our head. How do we know that everything we see is everything there is? Modern science is almost certain there could be parallel universes, and thus lives, but to test such a notion is difficult. 5. What is gravity really? Gravity has played a big part in making the universe the way it is. Gravity is the force that makes pieces of matter clump together into planets, moons, and stars. Because of gravity, if you drop something, it falls down instead of up. Well, everybody knows that. What does this really mean? Even though scientists can observe and understand how gravity behaves, they have no clue why it exists. For example, if gravity is a force that causes all matter to be attracted to all other matter, why are atoms mostly empty space inside? Or why are the forces that hold atoms together different from gravity? Is it possible that all the forces we see at work in nature are really different sides of the same basic force or structure? All these questions make gravity's nature and existence one of the biggest mysteries. 4. Is water necessary for life? From antiquity to today, all scientists and biologists have been absolutely sure about one thing. Water is essential for life. Recent studies, however, have shown that microbes can remain alive in the absence of water nearly indefinitely, and science now wonders if water is essential only for the kind of life we can recognize and understand. 3. Are there other planets like Earth? 
As of yet, we have not found a planet exactly like Earth, or one that is capable of harboring life. However, there is evidence that a planet like Earth is not that unrealistic. Last year, NASA discovered the first near-Earth-sized planet in the habitable zone around a sun very similar to our own, Kepler-186f. 2. What is the fate of the universe? A scary question to think about. When will the enigma we call the universe come to its demise? The answer, as you might have guessed, is shrouded in uncertainty. Scientists are not even sure if the universe will come to a defined end or a more gradual tail-off. Suggestions for the universe's death range from heat death, which is the death of all differences in heat in the universe, to a universe that collapses on itself. All theories are scary. 1. Does an anti-universe exist? The whole antimatter issue started officially in 1928 with physicist Paul Dirac, who developed a theory that combined quantum mechanics and Einstein's special relativity to provide a fuller description of electron interactions. What we learn from this theory is that matter and antimatter annihilate each other. So if we and everything else are made of matter, why do we still exist? Doesn't matter and antimatter completely annihilate at the time of the Big Bang? Perhaps some antimatter still exists somewhere else? Such questions have led to speculative theories, from a break in the rules that govern the universe to the existence of an entire anti-universe somewhere else. Enjoying our lists? Be sure to click that subscribe button in the top right corner so you don't miss out on new ones every Monday through Friday. Share them with your friends and help us consistently conciliate curiosity. And if you want even more lists, check out these two videos here or just head to our website at list25.com.